So, uh, one of the videos in the recommended for me, sorry about my voice, I'm a little bit sick right now. One of the videos that recommended for me on my YouTube homepage there was a uh, video on abortion and whatnot. And I went through some of the related videos, saw a couple videos for pro-choice and a couple videos from pro-life. And uh, I just had a couple thoughts on the matter. First of all, if you're, regardless of what side of the argument you're on, if you're debating for a legal standpoint, if you're debating about a law, any argument from religion is immediately null and void because of separation in church and state. You're going to have to find something else if you want to debate in, uh, for legislature. Anyway, that leaves you, that leaves the pro-lifer specifically with only, not, not very many arguments except for mostly appeals to emotion. And, uh, let's see, one of the arguments I saw, and I don't remember what video it was, I'm too lazy to find it, I'm not going to link to it, but, uh, one of the videos I saw said that the fetus didn't have the right to choose why should the mother have the right to choose to kill it. The, the baby had no choice in the matter whether to live or die. And um, this brought up a thought. Uh, if the baby is born, comes to fruition, comes to consciousness, becomes mature enough to evaluate their own place, and then has the ability to consider everything and the capability to consider their own worth and decides that it's not worth it, decides to off themselves, you would enter the, specifically talking to people that make this argument, you would probably want to intervene, and rightfully so, and you would want to stop them. And so, if you're saying they have no choice in the matter before, and now that they are able and capable of making that choice, and you won't let them, how is your argument, how does your argument still stand up? Uh, that's just a thought I had. I thought I'd see if I'd get any comments on that. Whatever.